I always say that tree kangaroos brought me to Papua New Guinea and it's the people that keep me here. Decades ago, Lisa Daybeck not only fell in love with the Huon tree kangaroo, but also with the people who inhabit this wild, untouched cloud forest. I really believe that conservation is about people. So when we first came here over 20 years ago, it really became very obvious to me that we needed to look at the needs of the communities. And if we were asking community members to be stewards of their forests, we had to also look at what are their, their needs. The villagers told Lisa their two biggest needs were education and health care. So the Tree Kangaroo Conservation Program is investing in these two areas as well. In education, there are local training scholarships that help attract and keep good teachers here. TKCP staffers also serve as classroom mentors. The Junior Ranger program here is a huge hit. Village kids have a lot of fun learning about their unique land and how to protect it. Zero, white, and maybe green, yes, green. Lisa understands there is no healthy environment without healthy humans. So her program recently hired a full-time health coordinator. Francisca Yagama teaches hygiene and nutrition, works with community health workers, and tackles the most challenging health issue here. We have a lot of uh, mothers giving birth, and there's no proper family planning, and you find that the average woman would have around seven children. In this meeting, trained midwife volunteers simulate a birth to show new class members what to do. In a highly patriarchal society, it is truly incredible that men are not only curious, but now wanting to participate. The villagers also expressed a need for economic opportunities, to have a livelihood so they could pay for school fees and health care. Lisa asked them what they wanted to do, and they said, grow coffee. Coffee was introduced into this region in the 50s and 60s, but because there are no roads here, and the only way to get the beans out is by flying them out, it was too expensive, so a lot of people had abandoned. So the program invested in a conservation coffee project. Here's how it works. 90% of the land is owned by the local people. They can join a coffee co-op by putting some of their land in a large conservation area. The preserve is called Yus, Y-U-S, an acronym for the three rivers that border the area. The protected area, the Yus conservation area, the no hunting zone, is about 150,000 acres. The no hunting zone now includes 52 villages. And this brings us to the other big Seattle connection. And we were very fortunate that a small roaster in Seattle, Cafe Vida, heard and learned about our story because Cafe Vida had a relationship with Woodland Park Zoo. And when we told them about this conservation project, they got really interested in the conservation story. They invested in us and we learned together and we helped the farmers to grow their coffee better, to prune their coffee trees, to dry their coffee beans better. And now, after about six years, Cafe Vida is buying the coffee directly from the farmers. And we call it the Use Conservation Coffee. Lisa's team arranges to fly the beans out after harvest. So this special coffee from faraway Papua New Guinea eventually ends up in your cup here at home. From day one, Lisa knew it would take teamwork to accomplish her dream of saving tree kangaroos. She's deeply grateful to the villagers for allowing her to conduct research on their land. And this collaboration between people of two very different worlds has forged deep friendships. Eki! Oh my gosh! A man or Mary? Mary! We laugh together, we cry together, 
We have a lot of challenges, but I absolutely trust our local team members. You know, it's funny how a darling little tree kangaroo has helped create healthier and better educated communities, and that these empowered people of Papua New Guinea are embracing stewardship of their unique and precious home. My vision for this place, for this program, is that it will be led by local community members. And I envision a place where people can be healthy, the communities can be healthy, and the wildlife can be healthy. And I hope that there are healthy populations of tree kangaroos here <laughs> forever. forever. <laughs>